Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If we haven't met already, then I'm Sonia. I would love if you could stick around. So don't forget to subscribe at the bottom. Today I am filming this smoky, sultry, date night vibes makeup look for you. And this for me is pushing the boat out. I will try my best to write everything down below and link it down below. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, welcome to Fresh Faced Me. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by prepping my skin. I've just washed it with water. I'm going to start by prepping my skin with the Revitalift Day Cream by L'Oreal Paris. And I have got dry skin. Okay, I have got dry skin. So I do need to put quite a bit of moisturizer on my skin. So if you're thinking, yeah, I know. Now that I've moisturised, I'm now going to go in with the Dr. Organic Vitamin E Pure Oil. Just because I feel like I'm going to do quite a heavy foundation. So I'm just going to take a few drops of this and just press that into my skin. We're going for a very sultry, sexy, smoky eye kind of look. So I just need to make sure that the base is flawless because that is like the most important part of makeup for me, that my base stays flawless. Okay, then to finish off and to prep, I then go in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. Now that I've tied my hair up and prepped my skin, I'm gonna go in with foundation. I am going to be mixing the Rimmel Match Perfection and L'Oreal Tree Match. So this is in the shade, 3N and this is in the shade 400. I mix these and they create just like a beautiful yeah so when I mix these I'm just doing this because it's basically run out but yeah when I mix these it literally gives me such a good colour and such a good finish basically and I literally just mix them on the back of my hand like that I literally just paint this on And don't forget to drag it down your neck also, because otherwise you'll look crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab that foundation in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Dab, 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 dab. I should have done that TikTok as I was filming this. It's too late now. Don't forget your ears, right? Let me just show you the difference with foundation on your ears and foundation not on your ears, okay? Can you see that that literally just blends into one color? But, can you see how my ear is a different colour? It's not ma It's not major. It's no major news headline, but it just, you know, just makes your foundation all tie in together, to be honest, I think. So, I'm just taking the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer in the shade 10 Ivory. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try the TikTok hack on this eye and then just my normal concealer technique on this eye. So the TikTok hack is that you just conceal in the corner here, I believe, and then here. And it's supposed to like lift your eye so much more. So let's just see. Okay, so this is one eye. What I'm gonna try and do is not move the concealer over. So I'm literally gonna just keep it in that portion of my eye right there. Okay, now the outer portion. Right, do you think there's a difference? Oh my God, I actually think it worked, kind of. Unless I have a lazy eye, I think it worked. Unless that eye is actually physically higher than that eye anyway, I think it worked. No, surely one eye isn't higher than the other. Surely not. Anyway, I'm just gonna do my concealer like normal because that's freaking me out. I need to bring the eye down. <laughs> oh my God, it actually worked because now my eyes literally look level again. Oh no, they don't. Do you know what? Let's just not get obsessed. Let's just not get obsessed. Let's just continue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cream contour. And for me, cream contouring is a very new 
concept for me. I don't really cream contour. It just kind of scared me a bit. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronzed. Yes, I am. Thank you. So I'm just going to go here on my cheekbone like that on the other one as well. My forehead. My um, jawline. So basically anywhere I bronze anyway. Down my nose. Now this is scary. I'm just going to do this. That's actually quite cool. I've never seen anyone do that. I just thought I would just be so unique with that right there. Okay, anyway, enough's enough and the lid's going back on. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my sponge again, but just another side of it so I don't use the same conceal side. And um, with my contour, I'm going to blend upwards, not downwards, because otherwise your face will just look just muddy and no one wants that, okay? Right now, that's given me a really nice bronzed cheek glow, to be honest, I think. Okay, I think it's working. Look at that cheekbone. Look at that carving. Look at that dimension, please. Look at that. Beginner wear. Beginner wear. Okay, so this part just scares me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look like I've just fallen over in mud. You know when people say, get your nose out of her ass? This is what they mean. This is what they mean. For the jaw, because I hate using the um, beauty blender for the jaw because look, it's just, it's just long, just very long. I prefer using a brush for my jawline. So I'm going in with this Real Techniques, I think it's a foundation brush. Now, I know that I've already concealed, but I do like a bright under eye. I'm going in again with a different concealer. I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. So it's the same as the contour, but just a concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to take just a small amount. I'm, I don't do my whole face with this. I literally just go under my eye. But because I have cream contoured, I feel like I might just do this. Just, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> just because I have darkened up my face quite a lot. I also really wanna try that TikTok hack, which is where you put your concealer and bronzer underneath your foundation and then you put your foundation on. And the girls that do it, like the videos that I've seen, they genuinely look flawless. Like their skin looks just so blended, like so beautiful. But I might give that a go. I might give that TikTok hack a go and just see. This is where I normally just use that second concealer. Look at the difference that that concealer made. See, that was just needed. That was just needed. Like, look at that. And I'm just dragging this on my lid a little bit as the, like, base, the primer base, basically. Okay, so now that that is all blended, I am then going to set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. And I'm just going to take this flat brush to set my powder in place. Then just on my smile lines. Right, then what I do is I just take the tiniest bit, a medium amount of powder, and I just literally just push that into my skin. Then what I do is I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and just not really pick up any product on it just with the excess product that's on my face that will just go onto the brush and then i just disperse that and um, around the rest of my face 
Now that my face has been set, I am gonna go in with bronzer, blush, and highlighter. It's a chore, mate, it's a chore. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade 022 Sun Bronzed. And this like fake Real Techniques brush. <laughs> Done. Joking. Do you know what I really want to do as well? I want to do the, like, I do my makeup bad to see how others react challenge. Like, I actually want to know if my friends would tell me, Sonia, if I went out like this and not blended it, would any of my friends tell me? Would any of my friends tell me? They'd have to. I'm not being funny, but they'd have to. They'd have no choice but to. Then I just bronze the side of my nose. Okay. Right, and now I'm just going to start buffing that in and blending it. Then for highlights, I'm going to go in with the Doll Beauty Shine Bright Like a Diamond. Wow, I've only just read the name of that. And a Real Techniques. I think this is a contour brush, but I just like it to apply my highlights. First off, I take the product on this brush and just put it where I want it. And then to blend out that highlighter, I then go in with this stippling brush and then literally just completely blend everything out after. On my forehead, above my eyebrows, my cupid's bow, chin, down my nose, just a tiny bit of that. So this stippling brush literally just completely blows it all out. And just makes it look so like seamless and just so like look at that look at the difference from this where it's like just a block to then this where it's just like all blown out and just so just so nicely blended then for blush if you know me and if you watch my everyday makeup routine you'll know that i currently am using eyeshadow as blush what do you mean currently you've been doing it for years okay so i just take these two eyeshadows from inglot and this eco tools blush brush and then just put it on the apples of my cheeks yeah i was someone that never used blush and i was only bronze and highlight only bronze and highlight but honestly blush now for me makes such a difference i feel like blush takes your makeup from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It just literally just ties your cheek together. I just had to take the foundation off my lips just because it was irritating me. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It is a bit battered. Oh God, look, <laughs> look at the dust that's just come off that palette. That's what I mean that I don't use these. But I used to. Look, see, they have been used. I did used to do, you know, a bit of makeup back in the day. Okay, so I'm going to take shade Cypress Umber and the Urban Decay Naked 2 eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to dip it into this colour here. I'm going to do this makeup trick that I learnt with, for Fallout. So basically, you just put powder here on your eye. And then if you have fallout, you literally just brush this powder away after. And apparently it literally just saves the day for fallout. I'm just going to start. See what I mean? Look, that fallout already. I'm just going to start patting this onto the lid. I'm just going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Take a tiny, tiny bit more of the product and just blend that. Actually, I've changed to my trusty BH Cosmetics brush because that is the only brush that I can trust in the world. So now that I've blended that out ever so slightly, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 
darker orange color and just blend that into my crease to blend them both together. I'm just literally just dragging the makeup brush out a bit just to like wing that makeup out a little bit. Do you see how blown out that is, please? I'm gonna do brown right at the top and then blend it into orange at the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's just do that right now. On a small, see, this is perfect. It's called the Smoky Eyeliner Brush. Thank you, perfect, let's go. So I'm just gonna dip that into the brown shade and literally just go right up close here Then what I'm gonna do with the Morphe B8 brush is I'm just gonna blow that out a little tiny, tiny bit. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the Inglot palette again, take the same brush, the same darker orange shade, and then buff that into and underneath the brown. Okay, I'm then gonna take the BH Cosmetics brush and just blend that out even more just because I want it to be really really blended like I don't want any harsh lines at all from the bottom lash line I'm just going to take that eyeshadow in the same direction going upwards okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this palette and the first naked brush and just take that same brown shade and just intensify with some Mario Badescu spray I'm just going to intensify that brown just because we lost her a bit. We lost her a bit. I'm just going to take this brush and just ever so slightly blend out the corners, the edges of that. Just going to take this brush again, this BH brush, and just completely make sure that there's no harsh lines right so this powder hack can you see that there's like a bit of fallout there you basically just take your powder brush and just there you go boom and it's gone i'm going to take a brown eyeliner and just put that in my waterline it just ties the eyes a bit more together brows time I'm just going to be taking the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit in the shade 003 Dark Brown. And I'm just going to be taking the QVS Detail Brush in number three. It is now time for lashes and then lips. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes. I have been really loving this recently because it just makes my lashes so long. Okay, so wow, I recommend this mascara, it's great. It's time for lashes now. So I picked up these from Asda. They're the Allure London Enchanted pack. I normally always use 117s, but I feel like these are also 117s, but just a little bit, a little bit more dramatic. So I went with these ones instead. I don't know if I'm just being stupid and they are just 117s anyway, but no, actually they're not. The outer portion is a bit more dramatic. So, right, I'm going to take these. There's nothing like a fresh pair of lashes. For lips, so this is the New Look Pure Colour Lip Liner. And I've already got a bit on, but I'm just going to... I actually really enjoyed this. Maybe I should actually start branching out. <gasps> now that the shine is in the hair, now that the smoke is in the eye, 
we are ready for date night. So this is just the finished makeup look. That is the end of the makeup tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you love me very much and very deeply, you can hit the notification bell down there so you'll be notified and you'll be the first here every time I post. So, you know, who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? Who? Who doesn't want that? Anyway, so I shall see you all soon again for another video next week. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.